In this video, we're going to be having a look at the idea of limits on integrals. So it says find the integral of 3 root x plus 5 dx, but these two numbers here, the 4 and the 1, they're limits. So what we're going to have to do is do the integral, then sub those limits in. So the integral between 4 and 1 is how it's said of 3 root x or 3x to the half plus 5 dx well that's equal to let's do the integral so add 1 to the power that's 3x to the 3 over 2 divided by 3 over 2 that's the same as timesing by 2 thirds plus 5x plus c and what we're going to do is sub in the two limits 4 and 1 Okay, elaborating on that, you can see that 3 over 3 is 1, the 3's cancel to give 2x to the 3 over 2 plus 5x plus c between 4 and 1. And typically, when we integrate, we'll write the limits after we've integrated on the right hand side of these square brackets, and we do usually use square brackets for this. So what we're going to do now, what these two numbers mean, it means sub 4 into the place of where x is. We know that we're going to sub it in the place of where x is because the integral is with respect to x. So the limits are x values. So let's sub that in. So subbing in the top limit first, subbing in the 4, we get 2 lots of 4 to the 3 over 2 plus 5 lots a 4 plus C then we're going to take away the same expression but with 1 subbed in and that's what those limits mean 2 lots of 1 to the 3 over 2 plus 5 lots of 1 plus C so notice that the C's cancel we've got a plus C there and we're taking a C so actually this will be the case in every single one of these so we needn't ever write the plus c when we're doing integrals with limits it's perfectly acceptable not to do the plus c in this one instance where the integral has limits so let's eliminate all trace of that plus c now and take for granted that in future you don't need to write a plus c when the integral has limits right so now we're getting the calculator up and typing these limits in we get 2 lots of 4 to the power of 3 over 2 plus 5 lots of 4 and that's equal to 36 equals 36 and then replacing the 4 with a 1 We get 7, so 36 takes 7, which is 29. So that's what the limits mean. It means sub in the 4 to the expression, sub in the 1 to the expression, then take the 2 away from each other. Your calculator also has a function for working out these integrals. So it's a button towards the top right of the calculator, and you can see it's the integral sign with those two limits and a little white box. So I press that, that's what comes up. And using the x in the top right hand corner, 3 root and that x in the top right hand corner, 3 root x plus 5. And I'm going to check my answer. And I'm going to press the down key to get the lower limit, which is 1. Then press the up key to get the upper limit, which is 4. Press equals and I get 29, which is the answer. For more videos like this, go to alevelmathsrevision.com or subscribe to our YouTube channel.